All right, guys, welcome back to the Getaway Channel. Man, it's your boy Big Drizzy. We're back out here chilling on a beautifully rainy day, testing out some gear for you guys out in the elements. Just picked up this beautiful Heli Hansen Fur Glass Infinity Rain Shell, um, and it's absolutely phenomenal. I've had it for about 24 hours. I am really, really liking this shell, and I wanted to bring it to the channel to uh, show it to you guys so you can see how it's gonna perform in the elements. All right, three layer Helitech fabric here. Not going with the major uh, Gore-Tex or any other waterproof, but Heli, Heli Hansen has been doing Helitech for a long time, for decades. It's something that they've really honed and just kind of polished up and it really, really is a great looking fabric and feeling fabric. It has some texture to it. There's some lines running through it, but it really feels, it doesn't feel thick, but it doesn't feel like paper thin either, which is really, really nice. I want to take a look at the inside, all right, before it starts like really coming down. I really just wanted to give you guys a first look because there's no videos really online, uh, you know, about this jacket. It's such a cool uh, jacket. It feels awesome. Uh, it's roomy. You might want to check the sizing. You might be able to size down. Uh, but just a really, really nice looking shell. Breathable, pit zips, long alpine style pockets, which are really nice. They go all the way down here. And they have another small little pocket inside for you to put like little small things like keys um, and stuff like that. And both pockets have the same thing. All right, so as you can see, all right, two ways burns on both of the slash pockets, which are awesome. And then you have nice long pit zips here. Uh, so it's just a great looking jacket, man. Great feeling jacket. Hem length feels really, really nice. It's not too long. I've been really specific about hem lengths on my jackets lately. I really don't want them so long. Um, and I'm really just going with shorter jackets to tell you the truth. Zipper is a little firm, but I think it'll open up uh, the more you use it. But just great look to the jacket, great structure. I love how the, the, the neck comes up. Reminds me sort of like a torrent shell. Um, and this is really very similar to almost like a granite crest from Patagonia. But I'd have to say, man, this is probably one of, this is probably my new favorite uh, rain shell next to the Patagonia. To the Patagonia. I did. A, I just did a review on it. I just switched it over to the Storm Racer jacket. Very, very light rain jacket, but the fabric on it is so soft. Right? It doesn't feel plasticky. It's not super noisy, um, but just you know, a, a great, great piece, man. Uh, for you guys to check out. There's all different types of profiles when it comes to rain jackets. You, know, you have your super robust jackets, you have your Gore-Tex Pro jackets, you have your medium weight jackets, you have your super feather weight jacket, your feather weight jackets, bantam weight from, from Marmot, uh, you know, this new Storm Racer from Patagonia, REI has some super light pieces as well, OR. So you really gotta try out the different pieces and really see what kind of fabric material you like, what kind of breathability you like, what type of features you like. I like a lot of other jackets, but they don't give me the look, the price, and the features, especially the pixels in a lot of the jackets that I like. So I have to, you know, you, you kind of got to navigate through and pick what you want to work with and what you don't want to work with, what you're willing to sacrifice and what you're willing not to sacrifice. I run hot a lot, so I prefer jackets that have zips in them. Right. So this is just an awesome piece, man. Like I said, two uh, large pockets here. It would have been nice. A suggestion for me in the top portion of this inside pocket to put some mesh. And this could double as vents as well. All right, we saw that in the Eddie Bauer jacket, the rain jacket, the two slash pockets. It's total vents right behind it. A lot of people don't like that because you have that netting there. And depending on what you're putting inside, you could snag, you could rip it. Um, and you know, some people just like to have a pocket, but if you know, you run hot, you're always warm as soon as you start going, or even when you're standing, so you're just so warm, um, you know, you want a jacket with pit zips, you want a, a membrane that is going to, uh, breathe really well. Hood, 
great adjustments. You have two here and you have two in the back. So that's four. Reco reflector inside the hood. So if you are going to take this out on some expeditions, it's good to know that you have, uh, you know, that peace of mind. Hook and loop closures. I would have liked to see these like a black, like a Arcteryx. You know, just to give us some contrast with the fabric. I would have also liked to see a Napoleon pocket on the outside. Or at least another small pocket. You know, we need little small pockets on these jackets. Manufacturers, so that's where we put our keys, our money. Some people even put their phones. All right? Kind of oversized cord locks here and in the hood, which is good. All right, so you can feel them with gloves on. This is how it looks from the side and the back. All right. We're just chilling out here on a nice rainy day with you guys, man. Let me know if you guys have any questions uh, about this jacket. If you're thinking about getting the jacket, I mean, I've looked on Heli Hansen's website. It's on sale. REI, it's on sale. Backcountry, it's on sale. It's regularly $4.99, I believe. It's three and change now, which is still uh, a little steep. But the fit is great, the fabric feel is great, the breathability is great. You have a lot of features in this jacket. It's a comfortable, good looking jacket. And you're running with tried and true technology, all right? Let's see if you guys can see it here. All right, you see the little heli tech sign there. Almost didn't, almost forgot to show that to you guys. All right, so you have heli tech professional, man. All right, professional use in the outdoors, in the elements. All right, this is what you can come to expect right out of the box. Fabric is beading up. And again, guys, if you get your fabric and it's not beading up as much as you think it should, go to REI, go to the manufacturer, get some wash and some DWR treatment and treat it at home yourself. All right, guys, let me know. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if I got anything. I'm doing this really quick because I think that it's going to really, really pour in a minute. But um, yeah, man, this is the Verglass, Heli Hansen Verglass Infinity Shell, guys. Anyone have any questions, uh, like, subscribe, leave them down below. We're going to have a bunch of new reviews coming up, man. Stay tuned to your boy, all right? I'll see y'all soon. Peace.